Hello everyone, Superman Doe Bros here, and today let's take a look at the Marvel Legends series, Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, Wong and Doctor Strange. Now these figures are based off of what they look like in the film Doctor Strange and in the Multiverse of Madness. Take a look at the packaging. The packaging is about the same for both of them. They're both Marvel Legends series packaging, with each one being personalized to Wong and Doctor Strange, with pictures on the side which just look fantastic. And on the back, they do have the bios for each one. For Wong, it says Wong takes over it for the Ancient One as Sorcerer Supreme and leader of the Comertage. I hope I said that right. Teaching a new era of sorcerers to protect our reality from mystic threats. And for Doctor Strange, it says Doctor Stephen Strange is Earth's mightiest Earth. Shit. <laughs> Dang it, I can't. Ah. Okay, let me try this. Dr. Stephen Strange is Earth's mightiest sorcerer, battle-hardened, and reckoning with his lonely place in the multiverse after the events of Avengers Infinity War and Endgame. It shows all the figures that come with the Build-A-Figure parts. Bottom legal stuff, actual bottom legal stuff. So, let's take a look at both of the figures. The first figure we'll take a look at is Wong, and for accessories, he does come with a build-a-figure arm, as well as a alternative hand for that arm. He also comes with an alternative hand to hold his sword, which is another accessory he comes with, is this white which is another accessory he comes with, which is this white and gold sword, which just looks fantastic. Wong, please stop falling. This sword, which looks fantastic. I love the way this sword looks. And I don't know why, just Wong with a sword just works for me. He also comes with two magic effect pieces, which are pretty cool. And to switch out the hands, you need to grab Wong, remove the hand, and I recommend you push that as far as it can go so you can put it in easier because these can possibly break off but with the effect piece it just looks fantastic i love the fact that they added these in take a look at the actual figure the sculpt is fantastic it looks like wong from dr strange and multiverse of madness which we haven't seen a lot of him in the trailer but from what we can see this looks extremely accurate the sculpt is fantastic and the paint is also pretty good i don't really see any big major paint errors there's a little bit on the back here if we turn on this light there's some brown there but other than that that's about it this paint is really really nice on this figure. The face is also fantastic. It looks just like the actor. It just looks fantastic and there's some nice sculpted detail throughout the entire figure and just overall it just looks fantastic. Unfortunately, I did actually just notice another paint error. It is actually on the neck. But take a look at the articulation. The head and the neck are on dumbbell joints so they can move all the way around. Can look up about that far and down about that far. Can swivel side to side and of course tilt side to side. The torso is also on on a ball joint the arms can move all the way around and out about that far can swivel double bend at the elbow and the hands can swivel side to side as well as move up and down for the legs unfortunately there is a lot of articulation for the legs you just can't use them because of his clothing the legs can move forward about that far and back about that far there is a swivel up there there's also a singular bend at the knee which can go down about that far and also can swivel side to side and the feet can move forward about that far down about that far and can swivel side to side overall a fantastic figure the next figure we'll be taking a look at is Doctor Strange. Now, for accessories, he does come with these two spell-making hands. He also does come with two magic effect parts, which also look fantastic. Unfortunately, these are the same ones that Wong comes with. I do wish there was some difference between the two. And we also... Oh, I just dropped something come with a cloak of levitation now unfortunately this cloak of levitation is not that good it looks fantastic but unfortunately it just is too big for this figure i believe this is the same cloak of levitation that came with the what if zombie hunter spider-man which in the show he did have the cloak of levitation but as you can see if we get the actual figure with the cloak of levitation it's just way too big and it just it just does not work with this if we get the spider-man no way home doctor strange there's a peg hole in doctor strange with a peg on the cloak of levitation so it can just easily go on the figure and just overall just looks better on strange i wish they did something like this for this version of strange instead of just giving us the what if cloak of levitation but i will say that this doctor strange figure looks fantastic without the cloak of levitation i don't think i'll display this figure with the cloak of levitation because this figure just looks so good by itself these 
sculpt is fantastic. It looks like they just ripped it straight out of the film and the paint is not that bad. And what's really interesting is that the eye of Agamotto is a more of a translucent plastic than a painted thing. If we get the eye of Agamotto from the No Way Home wave, as you can see, there is a slight difference. And I do like the fact it's already sculpted in the figure, so it's not gonna move around. But the face though does not look that good compared to the No Way Home Strange. It just, I, I don't know, there's something about it that I don't really like with it. And also there is a paint error on this side where they didn't fully print the white in the hair, which isn't that big of a deal. I just now noticed it, but it's still a paint error. But overall, the figure does look nice and the articulation, there is some good and there is some bad. The head and the neck are on a ball joint, but since there's not a lot of movement on the neck because of his collar, he can only look down about that far and up about that far. Still not that bad. And so side to side and of course tilt side to side. There is a ab crunch that goes down about that far and back about that far and also can swivel side to side the arms can move all the way around i think there we go and can move out about that far a swivel up there a double bend at the elbow only can go about that far and the hands can of course swivel side to side as well as move up and down for the legs unfortunately you cannot get a lot of movement out of legs of course because of the design of the character the legs can go forward about that far and back about that far and can go out not at all there's also a swivel up there a double well, there, there is a double bend. You just you, It's kind of hard to get it because of the freaking suit. There we go. There is a double bend. Come on. There we go. There is a double bend at the knee. And the foot can move up about that far. Back about that far. And can swivel side to side. Overall, a nice looking figure. But I wish there was more articulation in the legs. And now for some size comparisons. Overall, the figures look fantastic, but unfortunately, I do wish there was some more articulation in the legs. But overall, these are definitely fantastic figures.